What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And we got our Nexus 9 here. I said in my unboxing and my how to unlock the bootloader that we will come back with a root video once one is available. Well, I got informed via Twitter or no, actually through Google Plus last night. Someone said something about it being available. This guy right here was the very first to inform me last night that Super SU or CF Auto Root was now available for the Nexus 9. So, shout out to Kenneth. Thank you for being on top of it, man. I really do appreciate it. All right, if we go to my Twitter here, you'll see that uh, last night, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I said video coming soon, 10 hours ago. And it was a uh, link to that post from Chain. Damn it. It was a link to this thread right here or this post by Chainfire. So huge shout out to Chainfire. He's an amazing dude. He's been rooting devices for a long time now. But uh, so this, this one's going to be a little more difficult, but I'm sure we can handle it. We're not new to this, or at least I'm not anyway. And hopefully I can help you through this too. So we're going to go ahead and download this right here. And then we're going to go click Nexus 9. Make sure this is the Nexus 9. Uh, we, we did pre-order the Nexus 6 and the Nexus Player. When those come, when he has a root method for those, I will make a video, but it'll be a very similar process to this. So, uh, technically, this will be the same process for both, except for this one does have a few more steps. Uh, it also has an XDA thread that he links to right here, and it says, "This took me a few hours." Blah blah blah. Download. It's the same exact thing, but uh, we're gonna go to where that downloaded, and then we're gonna right click on it, and we're going to extract it to a folder right there. So now we have a folder, inject, patched, readme. So in the readme, there is instructions right here. Enable OEM unlocking. We did that in our uh, bootloader unlock video. I will link to that in the description. And it says you have to go to the developer options and enable it. Reboot into bootloader. You can do ADB reboot bootloader. But let's go ahead and do it manually, shall we? Let's go ahead and power ours off. And after it powers off, we're going to make sure it's not plugged into anything. We're going to hold volume down and the power button for a little bit until we see a big giant white screen that is known as the bootloader. So uh, your bootloader again has to be unlocked and I have a video showing how to unlock it. So make sure you check that out if you have not done that already. You're also going to need to go down to fast boot and hit the power button. Now something important is if you used ADB reboot bootloader, it will immediately take you to fast boot. So you will not have to choose that. And to get, to get back to the other screen, you'll hit H boot, and then you'll be able to choose recovery and other stuff. So well, again, we're going to hit power on fast boot, and we're going to find our USB cable, and we're going to plug it into the USB 2.0 port on our laptop here. And then we're going to plug the other end into the bottom of our tablet. If your device has not been unlocked, a screen will pop up asking you to do so. Inject SuperSU. Boot the provided thing with okay so what we're going to do is in our download folder with these two files right here we're going to take these and you can either cut them or copy them we're going to go ahead and copy them over to our platform tools again this is another thing i can link to in the description if you do not know how to get your platform tools to show up right there and for quick easy access to it how to set it up where to download it and etc i have a video that's under five minutes and it shows you how to do all that and i actually worked pretty hard on that video so if you want to check that out feel free to do so but you need those two files in there so we're going to go back to here and we're going to copy this command fast boot boot inject image copy that and then go to the folder that our platform tools is in we're going to need to hold down shift right click and choose open command window here and now you're going to go ahead and hit paste and now it's downloading it booted it sweet we're going to go back here one more time, and it says uh, the, from the folder you extracted to install SuperSU into the system partition, then boot back to the bootloader screen. Okay, so let's hold volume. To, okay, sweet. It's back in the bootloader. It did it on its own. Now we need to install the patched kernel. So we need a slightly patched RAM disk. We'll go down just a little bit more, and it says fast boot, flash boot, patched image. We'll copy that. We'll go to the platform tools. We'll go ahead and paste that. And we'll hit enter. All right, looks like we are good to go here. It says 
hold the button for 10 seconds, select a reboot menu from the bootloader menu, or execute fast boot reboot. And let's go ahead and just go down to reboot. And we'll do that. It says, uh, your device is not rooted, though most root apps probably will not work yet because they are not ready for Android 5.0 or 64 or, bit or both. Now, Titanium Backup is one of those apps where if you go to their Twitter, they have linked people to a test build that works with Android Lollipop. I have Android, I've had Android Lollipop on my Nexus 5 for quite a while now, even back when it was Android L and didn't even like have an official version or name. And uh, so Titanium Backup has a test version that's working. And if you go to their Twitter, you can download it and put it on your device. But yeah, so now we're rooted. We can uh, inst we can download an app called Rasher, R-A-S-H-R, by DSL Nexus. And we can uh, flash recovery. Uh, chain. Also, Joey Krim is an amazing developer. He has an app that Android is upgrading is because Super SU is now in the system. And... You'll see it right here in our app drawer. But uh, Joey Crim's also an amazing developer. He has an app called Flash Image GUI, and he keeps updating it to support more and more devices. And he supports all the other Nexuses, so I don't see why he won't support this. But basically, you'll just drag with Rasher or Flash Image GUI. You'll be able to take the recovery image, put it on your device, open up that app, grant it root access, and install recovery to your device. So right now you do not have recovery. This is important. You do not have recovery because that's how CF Auto Root works. There is no recovery. The beautiful part about that is if Google releases Android 5.1 or Android 5.5 or Android 6.0, you can apply it on top of what you have. You will lose root, but all you got to do is rerun this process right here. And I'm pretty sure that he will update it and make it a simpler process in the future. Uh, with Samsung devices, it's literally just a freaking, like, <laughs> click this, everything happens, like, really quickly. You hit PDA, you put in the file, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's super quick. This one requires a little bit more work. Not much. Literally two commands and an unlocked bootloader. It's, it's, a, it's a fairly easy process. So here we are. You can see the updated Super SU app. Now, he says in his post to make sure that you do not flash this version on top of older Android. At the moment, D don't think, hey, um, you know, 2.18 2 is newer than 2.16. So, you know, <laughs> don't do that. That's not a, that's, no, don't do that. We're going to type root checker. And we're going to verify we have root access. Now, uh, there's a free version by Joey Cram and there's a paid version. I, I support Joey Cram. I think nearly every paid app he offers I've bought in or bought. So he's, a, he's an amazing developer, just like Chainfire. We're going to open that app up. We're going to hit agree, and we're going to hit OK and verify root. Sweet. We have root access. Let's go ahead and grant that. And it says, congratulations, you have root access. We have SuperSU218, and now we can play around with root apps. Of course, they need to be updated to support Android Lollipop, but since this is a brand new version of Android that literally just came out, yesterday for everybody to download and stuff i mean there's been a preview but now the official version's out or at least it was coming out and everybody was waiting on it to download so more and more apps are going to be supported to allow you to have root access so now i can open up my app called greenify and i can go to my uh working mode and root and it'll take just a second to pop up a little thing asking for root there we go sweet now we have root access this is awesome. This is amazing. Chainfire, you are amazing. I <laughs> This was not bad at all. Just a little bit of command line work. Not much at all. So make sure if you have an XDA account that you go here and you hit the little uh, thanks button right here. And you give him a thanks. And also, if you're not following him on Google+, Plus, please make sure you do so. As you can see, I have him in a circle called Android. If this video helped you root your Nexus 9, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this. 
please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As you saw earlier, I tweet when I'm making new videos. I post Instagram pictures of phones and tablets I get. When the Nexus 6 is in my hands, you'll see a picture of that. When the Nexus player is in my hand, you'll see a picture of that. And you'll know to expect a video later that day. So please follow me if you're, have, if you're not doing that. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. You will get notified every time I post a new video. Many more Nexus 9 videos coming. Uh, Nexus 6, Nexus Player, Note 4, full review. Many more videos coming very soon. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.